welcome to today's episode of the Five Star Pod Splash. With us today is Rowdy Toddy Piper and the token birthday boy, Tarky. It's my birthday. So, mm -hmm. WrestleMania. Looking like we're only going to have two celebrity matches. Or, sorry, three celebrity three matches. Yeah. It's going to be the SNL guys, Braun Strowman, then Batista Triple H, mm -hmm. I count him, and then John Cena, and I believe it was Samoa Joe. Yeah. 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 Which, I mean, John Cena's Mojo sounds good, actually. The the SNL guys versus Braun Strowman, though, they, they totally... That's, took, that's just... That's just gonna that's be... That's just sad. Well, that's just gonna be sad Jackass versus Umaga. Yeah. Or Kane versus Pete Rose for all them years. Well, I thought, that, I thought that one was just like a running gag. Not really. I forgot. Well, yeah. I thought he only had one actual match of that. Yeah, but he tended to beat up Pete Rose. Just regularly, regularly. yeah. But it was a running gag more than a match. It's WrestleMania. I, uh. It's WrestleMania. How old are you? Old enough to fight Kane. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that one is the one I'm least excited about. One, because I don't like the teddy bearification of Braun Strowman. And that's um, one of those, yeah. you know, the more goofy matches, the more tag teaming with children they do to him, the less of a monster he is. I mean, is. the only kind of celebrity match I would have liked to see Braun Strowman in is maybe him and Shaq and he beat Shaq in like five minutes. Just like, hey, there's another giant in the Oh sweet Jesus he picked that giant up and beat him half to death. Yeah. You know that, something where it's like a big sports figure. Where it's still like physically a physically intimidating man just got ripped in half by Braun Strowman. Rather than look at these twigs this grown man is snapping in half. Yeah. Isn't he impressive? <laughs> Well, no, he isn't. Shut up! You'll get these hands. Uh, these beefy, beefy hands. <laughs> uh, the Triple H-Batista match. Uh, I can remember a time I would have been excited about that, but now every time Batista opens his mouth, I just see him standing still in the middle of, <laughs> in the middle of his ship eating a Zagnet. <laughs> so now. See, I think the match should have been Batista versus John Cena. And then you couldn't have seen anybody. Batista would be standing so you just see like rappers falling down <laughs> yeah yeah you know, that would have been it's the match you can't see and it would have been funny because neither of them have to own up to anything right. for Vince so they could literally have done right. that match yeah and yeah. gone just had been shouting throughout the entire match where are you mm -hmm. it would have been hilarious yeah it would have been it would have been silly funny it had been funnier than, than Braun Strowman versus the two yeah. guys from Weekend Update really just seems like a massacre. I don't know. Maybe they'll get, like, a surprise ref, John Mulaney. <laughs> maybe. They won. They managed to beat the Monster Among Men. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe if it's a... Maybe it becomes a cage match, an old-school cage match with the blue bars. <laughs> so while he's literally beating one to death on one side, the other one just cobbles well, over. Yeah. <laughs> John Cena Samoa Joe should be decent. Yeah, that's that's one of the matches where John Cena has not been gone long enough to be super rusty. Yeah. You know, he'll get a few practice matches in. Samoa Joe, hopefully Samoa Joe will be the one doing more of the planning out for the match, though, just because he is more up to date. But as John Cena, John Cena may walk in and go, eh, I want to do something. I want to be Super Cena again for one night only. Well, you know at some point he's going to be Super Cena. Because now he can actually charge up and hit you with a Cena punch. So, you know, they have run with that now. Oh, look, he's gone Super Cena. Ah! <laughs> uh, so what were you telling me about Vince McMahon saying this one? Oh, no. So All right. That was a joke. I had said Vince McMahon is claiming this WrestleMania will be so exciting, you will not be able to leave for a bathroom break. So buckle up. It's nine hours. <laughs> Nice. You do not get to leave. It's so exciting. Meh. Did Kofi Kingston manage to get in the main event yet? Or has he got to jump through more hoops? I think there's still more hoop jumping. Okay. You can see where that's going. But... Yeah. I doubt he'll win, because if he wins, that kind of messes up the New Day, and the New Day has been kind of their cash cow for years now. Yeah. That's... It was just weird, because it's like, I, I assumed when they got a cereal they were going to jump the shark. And then it just didn't happen. Yeah. They just kept riding that wave. Yeah. That that was one that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's never going to work. 
Oh no. But then again, a big thing is if you just keep doing it and you enjoy it, eventually someone else will enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Um. So I'm curious to see where that one goes. The Ronda Rousey thing. I'm figuring that's going to be Becky Leach's coronation there. Yeah. But I did. I did at least like kind of the explanation of the fight between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch to see if Becky Lynch would even get in. And then Ronda Rousey comes in, interrupts it to make sure Becky Lynch gets in. And then people are like, well, why'd you wait till the end of the match? And, and she's sitting there, I like seeing these two hit each other. <laughs> yeah. Because I like watching them punch each other. Yeah. Uh, it's just... But considering, you know, my whole point was to get Becky Lynch into this fight. <laughs> that looks like it's going to be one of the marquee matches. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it, it's a more interesting one than uh, Seth Rollins, uh, Brock Lesnar. They're trying to give that one some heat, but it just you well you you can't you can't cook up a match when one of your ingredients is seven miles away from the other. Yeah. <laughs> like you can't you can heat one of them up, then he just looks like a crazed lunatic. Yeah. Which if you're gonna you know have one be a crazed lunatic, let it be Dean Ambrose. <laughs> yeah. But he already had a terrible, terrible match with Lesnar, so let's just not talk about that one. Yeah. And he had a terrible one to end Raw last week with uh, McIntyre. He not beat McIntyre yet. Yeah. McIntyre owns him horribly every damn time they get in the ring together. And it's almost to the point where it's like, just stop. Yeah, but if Dean Ambrose is still on the fence whether he's signing back or not. Man. So you can't let him win a match. Oh, Drew McIntyre! Oh my god. Are you sure? Yeah, because I'm crazy. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We'll see. That way, when he fights him at WrestleMania, he'll come out clean shaven, wearing a best suit, and goes, Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I found myself here in the <laughs> WWE. And then he'll just like, the contract for how much money will just slip out of his pocket, and he'll be like, oh, oh, but You didn't see that. I'm sane now. I've thought it through. I'm staying with the company. But you know the match for WrestleMania will be uh, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns. Not more, most, more and most likely. You don't think it'll be Baron Corbin? Who the hell wants to pay to see that shit? Well, I mean, it's not... I mean, hell, it didn't even get that going overall, and that was for free. Yeah, <laughs> nobody's sitting there going, Man, I can't wait to see Roman Reigns take on Baron Corbin. Nah, they're going to put Roman up against Drew. That, that's more WrestleMania and, and in Vince's words. It's more beef in the ring. It's beef. And that way, it's the two guys who won the most as well. Yeah. yeah. Beef. We got beef in the ring. You had Bobby Lashley get his belt back. Which I don't mind. Bobby is a heel. I'd be too damn big to need help from Leo Rush. It's literally like Godzilla getting, a, getting help from an ant. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't seem to knock this building over. Oh, here comes an ant. Yeah, Godzilla wins. No. No. Well, Bobby Lashley is almost just like, you, you just need him to be an arrogant, almost monster-esque heel, where he's just physically dominant on motherfuckers. Yeah. That, that's it. The dude is huge. He runs roughshod on people. You can't say that they don't have, know how that character works, because they've done him. <laughs> Hell, him and Drew McIntyre, that Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, Baron Corbin trio is rough. You know. When they kind of separate them, they let Drew be a be a man, and they have Bobby with you know Jimmy the Cricket is is no. I, no. I wonder who's no. I wonder who did that made that happen. Who has a sixty year? Not is it sixty years yet? Yeah, something like that. I think it's just a fifty year history of doing that. But yeah, Bobby, much like Lesnar, may just need somebody to help him talk. Leo's not helping him talk. Leo's like. Helping him win. No, 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 no. You need to be Jimmy Mouth of the South Heart. You need to run around and talk. Oh, hell, you like Paul Heyman. You need to talk. He needs somebody to talk for him. He don't need somebody to cheat for him. He's too damn He's too damn big for that crap. Yeah, it's just... It don't look right. He dominates the entire match with Finn Balor and then needs help from Leo Rush. It's... No. I mean, granted, if it was... if Weird, because, like, I already accidentally said it, but, like, Umaga's manager would help him cheat. Yeah. But, like, it would help him cheat in, like, positioning and be like, jab him in the throat with this now that you've already got him on the ropes. Just to really hammer it in that, <laughs> stop f***ing around, we want to fight bigger people. Alright, thanks, boss. 
Oh, look, your windpipe's crushed. It looks like you can't wrestle me again. <laughs> looks like I need to find someone new. Like, that kind of cheating would work. Yeah. But the... <laughs> yeah, I helped him win. Uh, really? Why? Why did you, why did you feel the need to? <laughs> well, it looked like he might come back. No. It looked like he might no. unbreak his leg. No, he really did. He really did. He was really going to pull a fucking karate kid on Bobby Lashley, you know. <laughs> I had to sweep the leg for Bobby real quick. I had to put the banana peel up under him so he'd fall. Because, you know, without that, Bobby's win was in doubt. Really? <laughs> he was slinging him around like a sack of potatoes. What the hell's the problem? Well, I saw Finn Balor start pulling out the paint, and if I knew the demon came out, <laughs> Bobby was going to lose. <laughs> Which I guess, like... Which is probably next. Another another thing to add is Finn Balor. If he's in WWE, he might as well just start running demon persona the entire time if he wants to win. It's one of those kind of things. I thought the demon was neat when I first heard of it. Ooh, he's got a little persona? Sweet! Well, it loose the demon. Oh, sweet, the demon. Who comes out and does the exact same shit that Finn Balor does. They don't even change his music. Nah. Oh, so basically Finn Balor gets stronger if you put body paint on him. Mmm. How about no? <laughs> Give him a different finishing move. Make the demon yeah. different than... You know, go watch old tapes of the Boogeyman and come out. <laughs> Look, the demon's got worms. He's got earth, mouth full of earthworms crawling out of his mouth, and he lost the teeth. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Then you sit there and go, holy crap. Completely different person. Finn Balor's gone unhinged. This way, it's just Finn Balor got into his ultimate warrior paint set and painted himself up. And had more powerful. Well, to be fair, it came with cocaine. <laughs> well, you will, yeah. The ultimate warrior set. There's some extra in there for you. <laughs> what is it? It's skin contact cocaine. Can we say that? <laughs> what? It was cocaine? Yeah, well, well. I don't think it's Oh, well, sue us. Us. we got nothing. I mean, we're, we're not saying Up, up stop, anything. Upstart podcast defames WWE Hall of Fame legend Ultimate Warrior suggested there was cocaine in the face paint. Well, suggesting that he won... Sold fa face paint kits with cocaine. Yeah. Here you go, kitty. <laughs> Alright, I don't, I don't take this joke too far. Okay. Because I started to think about saying something, and I was like, nah, let's just... That's not... You know, it's, you know, half the people that thought about listening to this, I went, <gasps> how dare they? Click. <laughs> what? Nah. Anyone degenerate enough to listen to us at the yeah, beginning is the like, ah, they're making fun of a dead guy. <laughs> Love this shit. Maybe they'll bring up the cross face next week. Maybe. <laughs> so I guess that's it for the week. I can't yeah. think of it. Well, you know, you had the shield do their farewell. Before yeah. they come back together to well, do yeah. their actual last farewell at WrestleMania before yeah. they come back together. But, you know, wrestling. You know, as they realize, our gimmicks don't work by themselves. Yeah. People only really like us as the shield. Duh. <laughs> How'd you come into this company? The shield? That's how people think you should stay. No, no. I want to be a super Cena. Yeah, I want to be champ. I want to be whatever the hell Dean Ambrose is. Just there. I'm Dean Ambrose in there. Look, I own, at this point, 17 different hot dog stands in four states. I'm golden outside this company. <laughs> Do you know how many they've, they've given me and just not asked for back? <laughs> but yeah... That's that's. Yeah. I'm not super waiting on WrestleMania. I'm waiting on like four matches of WrestleMania. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'll actually like watch WrestleMania or not. I'm kind of. You kind of just gonna take cliff notes. Probably. All right. Go on Google. <laughs> WrestleMania 2019 results. Oh, really? Wow. Good job. You. <laughs> Who are those people? <laughs> Sorry, I was imitating Vince McMahon watching. <laughs> anyway, this has been the second episode of the Five Star Pod Splash. Once now with again, a name. We got better. <laughs> yeah. The token birthday boy, Tarky. And Rowdy Toddy Piper. Signing out. <laughs>